Hey you guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, hammer grip push-ups or tricep push-ups for this next one, guys. The way we're going to do it is we're going to hold a hammer position, which is palm to palm. And when I drop down into the push-up, I want to make sure my elbows are tucked in for this one. So dropping just like this and straight back up. You notice the elbows are tucked in, wrist is nice and straight, and lifting. Full range of motion. Let's get you guys to try it. All right, guys, I'm going to do this one with you. Let's go. So you guys can see I'm holding my nice straight plank. So there's a straight line from my shoulder to my ankle. I'm not breaching. I'm not sticking my bum out like this. Maintaining. So I want to keep the core engaged the whole time. And elbows are staying nicely tucked by my ribs. Just like that. Nice range of motion. You can see I'm getting all the way down to the dumbbell and pulling all the way back up. Now, if you start to really have trouble with this and you can't do it, you can do what I'm doing now. I'm going to drop to my knees. I'm going to work from there. This is a much easier version. Just like that. Let's try and finish off. Let's get a few more repetitions. Two more. And one last one. And let's finish there. Okay, guys, double knee struts from a push-up position. I want you guys to watch. So I've gone um, hammer grip with um, my dumbbell, so I'm palm to palm. I'm going to get up right here. There you go, that's a nice, sturdy position. All I'm going to do from here is I'm going to strike down the middle, strike to the side, and stop there. So abs, obliques, and stop. One last one. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Go. So you guys can see soft, straight arms, palm to palm, nice and parallel. Make sure you're protecting your wrist. Try and keep your wrist as straight as you can keep it. And two knees, one right down the middle, straight down the pipe, and the other one to the side, outside of your triceps. Good, let's keep them going. You want to try and keep the same pace all the way through getting harder now. Let's keep going. We've got around 15 seconds left. So you can really start to feel it in your triceps. The core is completely active the whole time as well. It's a fantastic functional exercise. One last rep. And you're done. Okay guys, we're going to do a stiff kickback with this one, but we're going to add a front delt raise with it. So opposite arm, opposite leg, I want you to watch me. So at, I'm going to push up with the leg nice and straight, just like that. And at the same time, I'm going to do a front delt raise with the opposite arm, okay? So it's going to look like this. One more rep. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see beautiful form. Christina's holding vertical lines with the arms and the legs and pushing right out. Stiff leg kick over here, kick back and just working a front delt raise with the opposite arm. You can see everything staying soft straight as she's throwing it out. Controlled movement. This is really, really good. Um, this is really good compound exercise because at the front, you're working your traps, you're working your shoulders as well. And at the back, we're working the hamstrings, glutes, and the lower back. So this is a nice compound version um, of this particular exercise. Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. One last rep. And we're done. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises.
right, guys, I'm going to do this one with you. Let's go. So you guys can see I'm holding my nice straight plank. So there's a straight line from my shoulder to my ankle. I'm not breaching. I'm not sticking my bum out like this. Maintaining. So I want to keep the core engaged the whole time. And elbows are staying nicely tucked by my ribs. Just like that. Nice range of motion. You can see I'm getting all the way down to the dumbbell and pulling all the way back up. Now, if you start to really have trouble with this and you can't do it, you can do what I'm doing now. I'm gonna drop to my knees. I'm gonna work from there. This is a much easier version, just like that. Let's try and finish off. Let's get a few more repetitions. Two more. And one last one. And let's finish there. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Go. So you guys can see soft, straight arms, palm to palm, nice and parallel. Make sure you're protecting your wrist. Try and keep your wrist as straight as you can keep it. And two knees, one right down the middle, straight down the pipe, and the other one to the side, outside of your triceps. Good, let's keep them going. You want to try and keep the same pace all the way through getting harder now. Let's keep going. We've got around 15 seconds left. So you can really start to feel it in your triceps. The core is completely active the whole time as well. It's a fantastic functional exercise. One last rep. And you're done. Okay, guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see beautiful form. Christina's holding vertical lines with the arms and the legs and pushing right out stiff leg kick over here kick back and just working a front delt raise with the opposite arm you can see everything staying soft straight as she's throwing it out controlled movement this is really really good um, this is a really good compound exercise because at the front you're working your traps you're working your shoulders as well and at the back we're working the hamstrings glutes and the lower back so this is a nice compound version um, of this particular exercise Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. One last rep. And we're done. Okay, guys, we're going to work some hammer curls for this one. So I want you to watch me. I've got my elbows by my side. Um, palms are facing each other, so it's in that hammer position. I'm going to just drive straight up in front of me like that, and back down. Other side, just alternating. I want 90 degrees of movement, just like that. And keeping those elbows tucked right in. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get started with those hammer curls. So elbows are by your side, no movement in those elbows. Again, protecting the spine by holding it nice and neutral and having your knees slightly bent for this one. And pushing out right in front of you. There's no angle change with the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys one way of actually making the um, hammer curls a little bit easier for you. So to make it easier to hold on to your dumbbell, in particular if you're doing using heavy weights, what you can do, I'm gonna make a little change for you. There you go, see we've just pushed Sarah's hand to the front and what's happening is it's now pushing right up against uh, the ball right here. So it's gonna be a lot more comfortable, it's gonna be a lot easier to push those hammer curls out. Let's keep working. Gotta make sure the elbows are staying nice and stationary, keeping the same pace throughout the whole movement and working right through. Let's go for three more reps. One, two, and three. Time. Upright rows for this exercise, guys. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna press my dumbbells together, so I'm holding a straight line just like that. And I'm gonna lift, this is gonna stay near my chest. We're gonna lift right up, you can see, elbow to elbow, I'm getting right up to a T, leading with those elbows. Dropping straight back down, keeping the dumbbell together. Right there, and back down again. Your turn.
Okay, Christina, let's get started with those upright rows. Go. Okay, so you guys can see Christina's leading with her elbows. Which is perfect. This is exactly how you want to do it. You want to make sure the dumbbells don't leave each other. So we're going to keep them pressed up against each other just like that. And you can see she's protecting her back. So we've got a nice neutral spine. Knees are slightly bent, so it's protecting her back. And let's keep that action going. Nice vertical action. Now she's keeping the dumbbells close to her chest. You want to make sure you're doing that. Work at that range. We're going to finish just underneath our chin, which is spot on. And stretching and resting down the bottom. Go again. Got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay guys, let's get started with those hammer curls. So elbows are by your side, no movement in those elbows. Again, protecting the spine by holding it nice and neutral and having your knees slightly bent for this one. And pushing out right in front of you, there's no angle change with the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys one way of actually making the um, hammer curls a little bit easier for you. So to make it easier to hold on to your dumbbell, in particular if you're doing using heavy weights, what you can do, I'm gonna make a little change for you. There you go, see we've just pushed Sarah's hand to the front and what's happening is it's now pushing right up against uh, the ball right here. So it's gonna be a lot more comfortable, it's gonna be a lot easier to push those hammer curls out. Let's keep working. Gotta make sure the elbows are staying nice and stationary, keeping the same pace throughout the whole movement and working right through. Let's go for three more reps. One, two, and three. Time. Okay, Christina, let's get started with those upright rows. Go. Okay, so you guys can see Christina's leading with her elbows. Which is perfect. This is exactly how you want to do it. You want to make sure the dumbbells don't leave each other. So we're going to keep them pressed up against each other just like that. And you can see she's protecting her back. So we've got a nice neutral spine. Knees are slightly bent. So it's protecting her back. And let's keep that action going. Nice vertical action. Now she's keeping the dumbbells close to her chest. You want to make sure you're doing that. Work at that range. We're going to finish just underneath our chin, which is spot on. And stretching and resting down the bottom. Go again. Got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. We're going to work some side squats for this one, guys. So watch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my knees slightly bent, feet together. I'm going to go right to the side. Now, as I drop down, I'm going to straighten this knee back out and I've got my dumbbells around my other leg and back here. Let's do one more. Dropping down and picking it back up just like that. We're going to do 45 seconds on one side and then we're going to try the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those side squats guys. So you guys can see, this is a kind of lengthy stance that um, Sarah's taking. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. So with this one, the knee drops right over the toe and the other leg is nice and straight. Perfect. Now you're going to have the tendency to lean forward on this one. So we want to try and minimize that. It's natural to lean ever so slightly. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to fold right over that knee. We want to try and keep it um, as vertical as possible. Let's keep them going. Finish with your feet together. So your rest point is right there where your feet are together. I'm gonna hit the next rep. Perfect, give me one last rep on this side. And let's change it up. I'm gonna get you to stand right there, Sarah. Let's go from there, go. Good, so just transitioning straight to the other side. A Little bit of misbalance, that's natural. Don't worry too much about it. 
I want you to keep a steady pace. Now, don't speed up, certainly don't slow down. Let's try and keep that same pace throughout the whole exercise. Good, excellent. So steady movement in, and then the same steady movement out. And we're just making sure that opposite knee is staying nice and straight. We want to make sure we're getting a good stretch on those adductors. Two more. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're gonna work a stiff kickback for this one, so I want you to watch me. I'm gonna just keep the dumbbells in front of me and I'm gonna kick right back with a stiff leg. I'm gonna finish there and come back. Okay, one more rep. Just like that. We're gonna do 45 seconds on one side and then we're gonna switch it up to 45 on the other as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those guys. Let's go. Okay, so you can see Christina's maintaining the weights in front of her. And what we want to try to do with this exercise is we want to hit a perfect T if we can. Let's hit that perfect T. Now, the trick with this one is you want to make sure your heel stays underneath your toe. We don't want to twist out. You want to make sure you're keeping a straight line as you do it. We want to try and get right into the middle of those glutes. Keep working. And you guys can see nice steady movement and Christina's putting a little pause at the top which makes it even harder, which is perfect. You wanna try and do that. Let's go for three more reps. That's one. And two. Let's go for one more. Excellent, change them up. We're gonna go the other leg. Let's go, no break. One, two, let's keep them going. So we're gonna be conscious of keeping the toes underneath the heel. No twisting, so you wanna try and keep your hips as square as you can for this one. Let's keep working. Now, as you start to tie, you're gonna to start to bend the knees. Wanna make sure we're not doing that. So the kicking leg, the kicking knee has to stay nice and straight the whole time. We've got three left on this side, Christina. Two more. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay, we're gonna work a calves race combination for this one. I want you guys to watch. So I'm gonna start off in a V position. We're gonna work some V or ballet calves raises if you like. So from here, I'm just gonna lift right up, get that pause at the top, drop back down with my heels together, okay? Just like that. Now, then what we'll do after 45 seconds, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go pigeon toes. So your toes are touching each other just like that. I'm gonna lift from here, really work the outside of the calves from here, okay? This one's really hard on your stabilizers because it's completely unnatural. It's gonna really work the outside of your calves. Let's go. Okay, let's get into those calves raises, guys. Go. So you guys can see Sarah's holding a nice V. Heels are together, toes are right out. Um, we've got a nice 90 degree range between the toes there. And what you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure you're putting a little pause at the top, okay? That point where you're really flexing your calves. Let's get that, let's really hit it. And then come back down, rest, and go again. We're gonna keep going. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one, and then we're gonna change it and we're gonna go toes in. We're gonna do a pigeon toe calves raise then. Let's keep working. Give me three more. Two more, nice steady movement. Let's not change the pace. And change them over now. So toes together, heels out, and go from there. Now this one's a lot harder on your stabilizer, so you might tend to wobble a little bit. Doesn't matter, fight through it. Let's keep working through it. Right up, I want you to try and put a little bit more of a pause at the top. Perfect. So you feel that digging into your calves from underneath, you also feel it outside of your calves as well. 
Good, we've got five more left on this one. Good, one last one. Excellent, have a rest. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get into those side squats, guys. So you guys can see, this is a kind of lengthy stance that um, Sarah's taking. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. So with this one, the knee drops right over the toe and the other leg is nice and straight. Perfect. Now you're going to have the tendency to lean forward on this one. So we want to try and minimize that. It's natural to lean ever so slightly. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to fold right over that knee. We want to try and keep it. Um, as vertical as possible. Let's keep them going. Finish with your feet together. So your rest point is right there where your feet are together. I'm gonna hit the next rep. Perfect, give me one last rep on this side. And let's change it up. I'm gonna get you to stand right there, Sarah. Let's go from there, go. Good, so just transitioning straight to the other side. A Little bit of misbalance, that's natural. Don't worry too much about it. I want you to keep a steady pace. Now, don't speed up, certainly don't slow down. Let's try and keep that same pace throughout the whole exercise. Good, excellent. So steady movement in, and then the same steady movement out. And we're just making sure that opposite knee is staying nice and straight. We want to make sure we're getting a good stretch on those adductors. Two more. One last rep, and have a rest. Okay, let's get into those guys, let's go. Okay, so you can see Christina's maintaining the weights in front of her, and what we want to try to do with this exercise is we want to hit a perfect T if we can. Let's hit that perfect T. Now, the trick with this one is you want to make sure your heel stays underneath your toe. We don't want to twist out. You want to make sure you're keeping a straight line as you do it. We want to try and get right into the middle of those glutes. Let's keep working. And you guys can see nice steady movement. And Christina's putting a little pause at the top, which makes it even harder, which is perfect. You want to try and do that. Let's go for three more reps. That's one. And two, let's go for one more. Excellent, change them up. We're gonna go the other leg, let's go, no break. That's one. Two, let's keep them going. So we're gonna be conscious of keeping the toes underneath the heel. No twisting, so you wanna try and keep your hips as square as you can for this one. Let's keep working. Now, as you start to tie, you're gonna to start to bend the knees. We wanna make sure we're not doing that. So the kicking leg, the kicking knee has to stay nice and straight the whole time. We've got three left on this side, Christina. Two more. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into those calves raises, guys. Go. So you guys can see Sarah's holding a nice V. Heels are together, toes are right out. Um, we've got a nice 90 degree range between the toes there. And what you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure you're putting a little pause at the top, okay? That point where you're really flexing your calves. Let's get that, let's really hit it. And then come back down, rest, and go again. We're gonna keep going. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one, and then we're gonna change it and we're gonna go toes in. We're gonna do a pigeon toe calves raise then. Let's keep working. Give me three more. Two more, nice steady movement. Let's not change the pace. And change them over now. So toes together, heels out, and go from there. Now this one's a lot harder on your stabilizer, so you might tend to wobble a little bit. Doesn't matter, fight through it. Let's keep working through it.
right up. I want you to try and put a little bit more of a pause at the top. Perfect. So you feel that digging into your calves from underneath. You also feel it outside of your calves as well. Good. We've got five more left on this one. Good. One last one. Excellent. Have a rest. Okay, guys, I've got a good shoulders exercise for you, all right? So this one's a little bit unusual. I want you guys to watch. I'm just going to do it without dumbbells for a second, and then we'll do it with some dumbbells. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to essentially replicate the movement you would have if you're using your pec deck, okay? And once I get to this point, I'm going to squeeze and lift up right there, okay? So work the pec deck and then squeeze up right at the top. Now, if I was to incorporate some weights into it, this is how it looks. So from here... I'm just going to go open, close, lift, open, close, lift, just like that. It's quite a difficult exercise. You guys will have fun for a minute. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we're going to work an obliques tilt for this one, but we're going to do it a little bit different. So rather than doing it overhead, I'm going to grab a pair of dumbbells and I'm going to just lean them just up against um, pretty much my IT band just outside of my legs, just like that, right? And so from here, I'm just going to squeeze to one side. I want to try and get this arm past my knee and back to the middle. And then we're going to work the other side. Squeeze and return it just like that. Now, I want to make sure I'm not pulling back, okay? Make sure you're pulling directly to the side. We don't want to put any excessive pressure in the back by pushing it backwards, okay? Just make sure the arms are soft, straight. Um, there's no need to make any movement with the arms at all. And it's just an oblique crunch to the side and returning it back to the center. Pretty simple. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay, guys, we're going to work some concentration calls on this one, but we're just going to put a little bit of a different spin on it, okay? So I'm going to drop down into a wide squat or a sumo squat, if you like, here, okay? I'm going to use one hand for support 
and the other hand um, just holding the dumbbell. Now, I want my elbow just inside of my knee, um, just at the end of my adductors basically, okay? So from here, I'm gonna squeeze up and drop it back down, okay? So we're gonna work one minute on this side, and then I'm simply just gonna switch hands, use the other one for support, and work the other side. Now, a couple of things to note. So holding that sumo squat position, you wanna make sure your knees are right out. We don't wanna cave them in. You wanna make sure they're out. So your quadriceps are doing quite a lot of work there as well. And then the other thing you wanna make sure you do, so this arm's moving perpendicular to everything else, okay? So I'm not creating any funky angles. You wanna make sure it's nice and perpendicular and straight up, just like that. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay guys, switch arms straight away, no rest, let's go. Let's get ready to go again and repeat the last three exercises.
Okay, guys, switch arms straight away, no rest. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're going to do a modified version of a clean and jerk for this one, okay? So I'm going to start off, dumbbells in front of me, so it just looks like a nice long bar, feet of shoulder width, knees are always um, soft, so you've always got some protection in your back. I'm going to drop down, I'm going to grab the dumbbells from here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift, so here, right here, I'm going to step back into the jerk, and then I'm going to finish back here again, okay? Just where the, your shoulder press would start and then drop it back down, right there. Okay, we're gonna go again, ready, watch. Okay, one minute. Let's get as many as of those in there as you can. Your turn. Okay guys, this one's a barbarian squat. So basically it starts off much like a kettlebell grip squat, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one dumbbell, holding with one hand and then supporting with the other hand right, like that. So, so it's got no way of falling out of my hands, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop into the squat and as I come back, I'm just gonna swing up, okay? Arms are soft straight as I'm swinging up, okay? Down, up, finish there and return it slowly. So you can see on the squat, you can see that my feet are parallel, they're just past shoulder width, my knees are right on top of it, and I'm always keeping my knees soft and always protecting my back. I wanna make sure you remember that through this exercise, okay? Controlled swings. Let's get you guys to try it.
Okay, guys, hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Well done for getting through your class today, guys. If you could turn your attention to your instructor for stretching and cool down.